Okay, now front counter, we're at the lunch main menu. We are gonna dive into the different keys that can get you all through the menus. Okay, let's take a look up at the top. We have breakfast key, lunch key, like value slash salads, drinks, McCafe, desserts, happy meal slash birthday party, LSM, LSM2, and condiments slash gifts. Okay? So, breakfast slash breakfast two is two different menus. So, if we hit breakfast and it's highlighted, that means you're on the breakfast one menu. We hit it a second time, breakfast two is highlighted. Same thing with lunch one, lunch two. McValue, salads, dessert, dessert two, happy meal, LSM, LSM two, condiments, and gifts. Okay? So whatever menu you are on, it will be highlighted in yellow. Okay, let's go to the lunch menu. Underneath lunch one menu, you'll see all of the sandwiches that are in meals are located under this menu. The sandwiches that are not included in a meal are under lunch two menu. Under make value menu are the sandwiches, fries, that are under our one, two, three dollar menu. Under dessert one, you have our desserts. Under dessert two are some secondary desserts that aren't ordered as often as the first menu. Under LSM, that is where our special our specials are located and under LSM2 is where additional specials are located. Condiments is where all our condiments are to add to anyone's order and gifts. That is the menu you use for gift cards. Okay, so let's go back to our lunch menu and take a look at how we would ring up a sandwich versus a meal. So if someone would just like to order a Big Mac sandwich, you simply just hit the picture of the Big Mac. And if you see, just a Big Mac sandwich rings up. Now let's say the customer would like to change it to a meal but you did not know this at first, they said just the sandwich. So of course you rang up the sandwich. Now, to make it a meal, it's very simple. You're just gonna go ahead and use the button that says make slash change meal. So those are the two options. You can make it a meal or you can change the meal around. So if we hit make meal, this option pops up. Verify if they would like a medium or large size meal make medium meal tells you to go ahead and select drink medium or large yes you can get a large drink with a medium sized meal but you cannot get a medium drink with a large size meal so they're just going to go with the regular size drink going to hit medium and the drink now the order rings up big mac meal with a coke Okay. Now they decided they want to order a quarter pounder meal, large size. So this part is where you have to hit what size meal they would like. The customer told you large. So you're going to go ahead and hit large size. See how large is highlighted in blue. And then you're going to go ahead and hit the number two meal for the quarter pounder. Comes up quarter slash large. 
and then you have to select the drink. Now, you do have to hit large and then the drink type. If you do not hit large, it will make it a medium, okay? So I did not hit hard, large, I just hit Coke, and if you see, it says medium Coke. So, how do I change that to a large? Very simple, we're gonna go ahead and hit clear choice button. Clear choice, and it, since we had recently hit the Coke last, it automatically clears out the medium Coke. Now, you can go ahead and pick the right size, and then the correct flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and hit large. It's highlighted in blue. And let's go ahead and hit the Coke. And now the order is correct. Quarter pounder large size with the large Coke and the large fries. Let's go ahead and see how we complete the order. The guest is done. You repeat back the order to them, okay? We have you down for a Big Mac meal with a Coke and a quarter pounder meal large size with a Coke. Is that correct? They verify with you, yes, that's correct. You're gonna go ahead and hit either eat in or take out. So if it's for here or to go, that's how you know what option to hit. So let's go ahead and hit take out, hit take out, and the order is now on the cash out screen. The order is still verified there, okay? You look right here, gives you total due, 1977, and now here are your options. If they want to pay with a card, they simply slide their card in the card reader, and you would hit credit, debit, or gift card. You hit that, letting you know that the guest has to insert, tap, or swipe the card. Once the order is complete, the receipt will print out and you can go ahead and give them their receipt as well as their order number that prints out the top of their receipt. Okay. Now if somebody wants to pay with cash, we're going to go ahead and go over that now. cash options, you can type in what they're paying with, or if you take a look at the options up top, you have the option of exact $50, exact $20, next dollar up, exact $10, exact five, and then exact cash. These options will help you move a little bit quicker when cashing out orders. So, total is 1977. Always repeat back to the customer the amount they gave you out of 20 and your option right there is hit 20 exact okay register pops open you would simply give them the change and the guest their receipt and their order number at the top search your drawer and you're ready for the next order okay it reminds you right there of how much change you're giving them as well okay 